Hi, gonna do a quick little video on the difference between a gravity wall and an engineered wall. The only difference is the use of GeoGrid. Um, according to NCMA, you only really need GeoGrid on a wall that's over three feet tall, but I like to use GeoGrid on every single wall we do. It's kind of like a cheap insurance policy. So just a little uh, demonstration here, see if you can see if we can see how this works um, here this is a geo grid basically we take take it put it between the blocks and then run it back it's supposed to be 60% of the wall height so if the wall 10 feet tall we go back six feet and then put it between the blocks and what we'll do we'll backfill this with rock you know level with the top of the block and run it back and then run the plate compactor run the plate compactor on every course and basically this the rock latches into into these spaces and locks this in place so now instead of having this 12 inch block that can turn over now we have a six foot mass that has to turn over so the whole this whole six foot mass would have to it would have to lift up the entire soil, rock, everything before this wall would tip over. So this wall is not going to be nearly 10 feet, but we ran a, the geo grid back six feet. So theoretically, we could build a 10 foot wall if we continued run this geo grid back every and then every two courses. So we have it between the second and third course, and now. I'll build another course. We'll backfill this with rock and soil and build another course and then run GeoGrid back. So every two courses, we're running this back. I just wanted a quick definition on GeoGrid. And look at the soil that we had to excavate. You know, just to get this uh, engineered wall. We tried doing that by hand. That's all I had. I just wanted to do a quick video on the difference between a gravity wall and engineered wall. Have a good day.